Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go solo in an intense aired PvP server, where there we're going to get into a lot of PvP and progression through the map. If you guys want to see more videos like these, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Make sure that you're subscribed as well, each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize, join my discord, where the link will be in the description below. As always, this video we're going to do another mythical giveaway, which this time it is an electric corrosive peacemaker. To enter, make sure that you're subscribed, you've liked the video and comment anything below. Also members have a 5 times more chance to win the skin, where I would also like to give each of them a shout out and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I'm joining an Aerith server completely solo, I have never played on the server. Alright, and we are in, I haven't played Aerith quite a while actually. I'm gonna do myself a group, even though I probably will be solo. There's a 5-man team on the server, splendid. Uh, there's a small vault in the server, that's good. Uh, but I don't think that there are any kits, so that, that's pretty good to be honest. So it is a full semi-vanilla server, 2 times loot, and what I'm going to try to do is, obviously I'm going to get as much loot as possible, build a base. I want to go inside all of the bunkers and eventually get myself a night vision and a gas mask. Alright, so I'm gonna to claim all of the quests even though I probably will not do them anytime soon. Finishing quests is good but for now I don't really care. And then afterwards we'll go to the driver and he'll take us very close to Kahmaran. And from over here we'll run over there, try to get as much loot as possible. Maybe we'll kill some people because it is the military base and there will probably be people. Well a landmine did just blow up so there are definitely people at Kahmaran. Now I am completely naked. I'm gonna try to get myself even a pistol or a knife to be honest. I would give it a try with any of those. Well, they're literally very close. It's not even a landmine. It's a grenade. They're trying grenades in here. Well, I don't have a gun yet or a knife or anything that to actually kill somebody with. All right, well, I did get myself a pistol. There's one guy right over there. I don't know how many people there actually are. He went this way. I'm just gonna follow him, try to get as close as possible. Oh, well, yeah, there are two guys. I don't think that they saw me. Yeah, they didn't saw me or else they would probably be pushing me. I'm gonna get a bit closer. They're moving away. I can't fit through that. Nice. All right, I made it in here. Let's wear those pants. All right, so my plan is I want to kill one and then from that guy I'll pick up the Zolash. And then I'll, I'll kill the other guy. Oh, he has no, do I, no idea about me. Okay, this is perfect. Bro, die. All right, he's dead. All right, first one dead. Uh, okay, yeah, he is he is stacked actually. We got ourselves a Zolash. Oh, there's two more guys. All right, I killed one more. Oh, this is a trio, man. All right, that guy will probably be hiding, accepting his buddy's TPAs. All right, let's check out what loot this guy has. Yeah, he is actually fully geared. Hatchet. All right, well, we'll pick it up later. Oh, wait, I killed him. Oh, and... Wait, did he TP back or was that a four-man team? And I am out of ammo. Oh, you bled out, Lamar. Oh. Bro, run back, please. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. I wanted to vault at least the Zolash. And there's a bucked backpack, bro. Okay, yeah, it's gone. All right, well, I'm not gonna go to Kahmaran then. I'm gonna try to get some guns from tomorrow. And then we'll go Kahmaran later. I mean, those guys will probably still be there. I think they're just killing every single zombie and farming everything. Oh, there, obviously, there is a guy right over there. I'm trying to lure these zombies toward me, so hopefully they would drop guns. All right, we got a pistol, a bunch of dog tags. Those zombies actually did drop a pistol, so that's pretty good. Hopefully, this guy won't home or anything like that. There's also an airdrop coming by, but I'm obviously not gonna go for it. I'm trying to find myself an entrance, man. All right, we're in. Let's go. So, I can't find them anywhere. Now, I did get myself a bunch of Zolash ammo, but obviously no Zolash yet. Now, the only place that he could be is at the very top of the radio tower, which I'm going to go check right now. Yeah, there is some loot on the floor, so maybe he is up here. Oh, yeah, he is. All right, let's go. He's dead. Oh, he had a sniper as well. All right, we got ourselves a vest. He has a billion dog tag. Actually, I could take them and stack them. I can either convert them into something valuable in the safe zone, or I can make them into metal. I'm really happy we got a Zolash, though. Uh, very epic Rex to riches. Now, obviously, I'm gonna probably try to take over a base somewhere, or maybe try to go back inside um, Kahmaran Airfield while I'll try to kill that dude. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make a bed as well. I should have everything. I should have enough to make it. Yeah, we got ourselves a bed, let's go. So I found this base where it is a huge raided base, but uh, it seems like it's pretty hidden from everything. So for now, I'm gonna take it over. It's actually quite a big base. Now there is some storage over here as well, and I'll probably just use it for now where I have... I don't really have anything that important. All of the good stuff is in my vault for now. But if I am about to die or I have a lot of loot, this is like my getaway place. I'll just slash home. Oh, Zola shots. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back in Kahraman. Uh, Zola shots. You gotta be careful that I don't step on these landmines. 
And I don't know if it's the same duo that I was PvPing with like 20 minutes ago. Hopefully it is because they had they had some loot. I will take that match box because apparently it's useful to make a campfire now. Let's make ourselves a bandage so we don't bleed out because on arid everything. If you get shot once, you start bleeding. Oh, he's right over there. I see him. And he's killing zombies. Now, if he's gonna come to this zombie and kill him, I could easily ambush him. I'm kind of scared that it's more than one person though. And he's getting close. He's probably looting the zombie. Maybe, uh, maybe I could push. He is just standing still. Right, I'm gonna push then. Alright, he's dead. Any inside loot? Okay, well, good backpack compact. Uh, another Zola. She has a hatchet, a bunch of ammo, a hammer, HQ fabric, metal parts. Alright, we'll pick up... I mean, I'm kind of full of loot, so I can already leave. Alright, we'll home. Oh, there's a guy literally outside. Alright, and we are back. Ooh, okay, well, that was a pretty good loot run. We got ourselves a heavy military helmet as well. I didn't even realize. Alright, we'll salvage all of the extra clothes, make them into bandages. Alright, so since we got the hatchet, we can also start building a base. Now, I need a saw in order to build a base. So my next mission is, it's very easy to get it. I'm just gonna run out there, get myself a saw. It's literally one of the most easiest things to find. And I am very close to Sama, which is a town where it's full of those items. So I did find myself a saw in this town and I'm gonna get as much logs as possible and we're gonna start building a base next to the base that we took over. Okay, we're back for now. I'm gonna build a 2 by 2 Hopefully I have enough wood. If not, I'll just build a 1x1 one one for now and then we'll upgrade later on. Alright, and our base is done. We got ourselves a 1x1. One one. Now I gotta make myself some storage. I still gotta get more wood. I am kind of full on wood. I did stack them into logs of 10 as well. Now we're gonna go back to base. We're gonna finish the 1x1, one one, make it into a 2x1 and then make ourselves a bunch of crates. And then we can actually start looting around. Pretty much hoarding everything because on Arid everything is important. And the 2 by one base is done, let's go. Now I did put everything inside these crates as well. I'm just gonna take with me some items that I wouldn't mind if I lose. I mean the clothes and the gun. I'm not gonna run around with anything important though. Oh, I saw a guy. Oh, he's pushing me. Alright, and he is dead, let's go. Uh, a bunch of guns. Okay, All right, I'm gonna... I got ourselves already a lot of loot so I can actually go back home. So I'm progressing a bit on case we're gonna get the one in AG-17. Uh, I'm gonna die by zombies. <coughs> Hot shots. Oh, somebody just killed somebody and, and they're very, very close to me. I have no idea where. Oh, wait, he's right over there. Hello. And he is dead. Let's go. Right, any insane loot? Oh, just a Zolash. Nothing that good. Wait, where's the guy that he killed, though? Did he pick up his loot? Is this it? In order for me to progress, I need to get myself a rescue saw and most of the items can be found in overpass So I'm gonna have to cross the entire map. Hopefully I don't run into that much people Server is pretty packed though, but if we do run into people then that's okay I'll try to kill them and then once we get ourselves a rescue saw I would need to craft myself night vision so that we can start entering AG 18 and then from there Maybe even the dead zone. Oh, right, there's a mega zombie here and he is dead. Let's kill the zombies. Okay, well, looks like a bunch of clothes, some dummy ammo. Nothing too special, though. We got ourselves a video receiver as well. Oh, that mega zombie actually sucked. He didn't have anything that good. We did get a military computer, though, apparently. So that, that's really good. That's really important. And it's pretty expensive in the safe zone, if I remember correctly. So I am back in base. I did get myself some really important items, such as the toolbox. I also got myself broken saw and the saw blade. That's pretty much it from the saw items, though. We didn't get any other items. Mega zombie did drop us a bunch of backpacks. So that's pretty pretty good and helmets. We also did get ourselves a digital camera. I remember we needed to make a sentry. I'm not sure. All right, so we'll wait a bit and then we'll go back to overpass. Hopefully loot will respawn and we'll get the remaining items. We need motor oil, saw chain and the fuse. We are back in overpass. I really need those three items, man. I want to progress. Oh, somebody's shooting. Oh, that's a pistol. I have no idea from where though. I'm gonna try to find them. I'm gonna try to kill him. Pretty sure they're the other- I'm pretty sure they're shooting at zombies and I did clear the zombies from this side, so that means that they're at the other side. Oh. Alright, they're both let's, let's go. I heard them step from a bit far away, actually. Uh, they have a broken saw, they have a bunch of- I we don't really need any of these, to be honest. They have another digital camera, uh, another backpack. Yeah, nothing that good. We'll take the copper wires, the ammo. They had some meds as well. They have another broken saw. We could salvage this vest. Got ourselves an armor plate and HQ fabric, which we do need for later. I got myself a bunch more crates. Let's go. I'm also thinking of upgrading base, making another one by one at the side. So add ourselves like pretty much another airlock. Get myself a big boy crate as well. We'll place the toolbox right over there. Back to our warehouse, trying to get the other remaining items for the saw. Wait, I don't think this car was here before. Somebody's exploding. For oh yeah, there are people there. Duo. Alright, they have no clue about me. And they're both dead, let's go. Alright, well, uh, he has a heavy helmet, let's go. Another one, we already have one in base. We got ourselves an Elise pack. We have ourselves a Zolash MK1. I, th that, I think you can only get that from the 
That's all right. Oh my god, these guys are geared, actually. A bunch of guns. Right, well, we're gonna have to leave some stuff here. I can't take everything. I'm gonna prioritize the guns for sure because we got ourselves an RPG scope as well. All right, I'm gonna home. Uh, we'll return, though. We might have to leave some stuff here. We'll take the coyote pack for sure. We could drop the artillery share for now. Let's take the... All right, yeah, we did leave some stuff. Uh, that's okay. All of these guns in the big boy box. Oh, the LE spec. We'll leave the LE spec here as well. I don't want to run around with the best clothes on me. I always run around with kind of bad clothes. I'll put all of these items in here. And we'll go back. All right, we are back. And it seems like the loot is still here. Let's go. They didn't come back. It's really all still here. There's so much ammo, man. I don't know why these guys picked up all of this ammo. I mean, how many people are they going to kill? Check out if we left out anything over by this guy as well. There's a bunch of meds. We'll actually take those. All right, and we'll keep going to overpass. Uh, okay, I think they killed a mega zombie there or something then. Let's go. We're getting stacked, boys. I'm gonna vote myself some items in case I die. All right, mega zombie. He hit me. He's dead, though. All right, let's pick up everything before these zombies kill me. There's our RPG trigger assembly. Hey, that's pretty good. I need to find myself close again, man. I love them back in base. All right, watch this, guys. I'm gonna bait all of these zombies to die by one explosion. And there we go. So earlier, I did forget to get this key. So here we go now. Oh, Zola shots. I think that's a point November. I'm gonna go say hello, obviously. Why right, hello there. All right, he's dead. Let's go. Uh, Zolash, a billion dog tags as well, this guy. Man, all of these dog tags, I'm turning them into metal and I'm making I think, so much metal back in base. Alright, back in base, pretty good loot run, I guess. Uh, a bunch of guns, we got ourselves another fertilizer, which will be important later on. A bunch of craftable items. Our base is starting to get pretty stacked as well. Put the blasting caps over there. We got ourselves a rug as well, gonna make our base look sexy, you know? So I have a bit of a plan now. A lot of you guys have been telling me that I don't even actually need a rescue zone in order to break myself one of those doors. All I need is just five grenades. Now I have been farming a lot of grenades from the military and tomorrow. So I'm gonna go over to Shalal Water Station and I'm gonna give this a try. Now all I need is just everything in order to make myself the night vision. I've been going to overpass for so long and I've literally given up. I can't find motor oil, saw blade or the white fuse. So I'm just really, so I'm literally just going to give this a shot. And if there is actually some stuff in there, then we can actually like skip to the night vision. Alright, so it did actually break. Let's go. Looks like there are. All right, let's go. Not everything though. I only got like one item. Now I'm gonna vault the night vision goggles, obviously. Now I could actually stay in here. Uh, wait for loot to respawn. Oh, there's a guy there. I hit him once, bro. Well, some of my loot is still here. Yeah, this was mine. Oh. All right, and he's terrible. Yeah, it's the same guy. It's Mr. Bean. All right, let's med up. Let's pick up what we have left off over here. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves more items now. Bunch of ammo, bunch of guns, a bunch of meds, even more grenades. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I'm actually full of loot now again. All right, let's see if anything respawned here. If not, yeah, I'm gonna go back to base depot. Hope I'll try to come back and and if the door did not respawn, then I'll check out if there's any loot. But if there isn't, then I'll probably go to Kahmaran and do the exact same thing. I should have more grenades back in base. So all my storage is full, so I made myself another big boy crate. All of these items on the floor, I literally had no space for them. We'll put, I have way too much ammo and way too much guns. We're actually making quite a ton of good progress, to be honest. In terms of PvP items, we do have everything. Now what we need to start getting is like end game items, such as night vision, the gas mask. So I did get myself five grenades. All right, second one exploded. Third one. Now I still will probably need to make this all. To be honest, because if I go into Fort Canel and I want to get the AMR, I still need to get the saw. Alright, I think this should be the last one, right? Yes, sir, and we are through. It looks like, yep, alright, photo multiplier, photo cathodes. I think we just got, I think we got everything. All I need, what? A white fuse, okay. Alright, no problem. Uh, I think the white fuse is the easiest to get, to be honest. I could literally go to the water station and I'm pretty sure they'll spawn over there. Oh, white fuse, let's go. All right, perfect. Let's go back to base. Craft myself the night vision. Right, we gotta get ourselves the toolbox. Let's go. And we got night vision goggles. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna vault them. And when I'm actually going to enter inside AG-18, I'll take them out. Because I don't want to die on my way there with them. I would literally cry. I'm gonna vault everything I don't need. And then we'll go to AG-18, get ourselves the key for the dead zone. And then we'll just have to focus on crafting ourselves the gas mask. Alright, well, I'm inside the city. I do hear some shots, but I am going to completely ignore it. AG18, loot run. Here we go. Hopefully, some good loot. Oh, steal a wheelie. Let's go. Oh, reloading tools as well. Oh my god. Right, I'll definitely take those. Those are literally some of the best items that we can get from in here. 
My AG19 key acquired as well. Now, I am actually full of loot, so I might go. They get myself a lot of loot. There's another gun right over here. I actually have no space for it. Uh, I could drop those for now. Take that gun. I do have a lot of HQ fabric back in base, so it's fine if I leave one. All right, and we are back in base. I'm pretty happy with that loot run. Now, I'm gonna try... I should have everything in order to make myself a cosmos, actually. All I need is just charcoal, and I did get myself some logs. So, I'm gonna try to craft one. Right, I should have everything. Yeah, and the cosmos crafted. Let's go. I could literally go inside the dead zone right now. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want to see more aired videos like these, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!